Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the Altius Images Drone Positive Podcast. I'm Todd Dudley and I'm the founder and director of Altius Images. As a drone pilot, the negative press that drones receive annoys me no end. This podcast is trying to change the negative public perception of our multi-rotored friends, one positive story at a time. There are plenty of stories out there that show just how amazing drones can be. I will be bringing you one of these stories each week. So let's fly into some positivity and see just how amazing drones are. Today, we're going back to 2016 and heading to Iceland, where two Polish explorers, Lucas and Gabriela, were fulfilling a lifelong dream of adventure. Whilst hiking in the rough wilderness of Sigliforda, the two cousins found themselves stranded on the side of a mountain in northern Iceland at around midnight, with a pale sun slowly setting beyond the fjords. They had just crossed a dangerous path when rocks started to crumble under their footing. Unable to descend or continue climbing, their only option was to call the emergency services on the European Emergency Number Associations, or ENA, 112, to be located and rescued. After the call, the Dalvik search and rescue team was quickly dispatched, yet darkness and poor reception made it difficult for them to locate the cousins by GPS. A search and rescue volunteer for over 30 years and a professional drone pilot, Hauke Gunnarsson didn't think twice about bringing his DJI Phantom 4 along. It took him three flight attempts from the other side of the lake and a ride on the boat to get close to the mountains to finally see the glimpse of a phone's flashlight. When Gabriella saw the drone approaching, she obviously felt very relieved because it meant that she knew people were looking for them. Not only did the drone locate the stranded cousins in what seemed to be a hard-to-find recess, it also guided the rescue team through difficult terrain and poor visibility as they helped the cousins descend the mountain. The entire rescue operation lasted approximately six hours, an eternity in Gabriella's words, but it did have more than just a happy ending. On April 25th, 2018, the Dalvik Search and Rescue Team received the Outstanding Tech for Safety Award at ENA's Annual 112 Awards, honouring their amazing rescue. Every single year in Iceland, there are 60 to 80 similar rescue operations, and drones promise to make a positive impact on their success rate. ENA and DJI started to collaborate about four years ago now, studying how public safety agencies can use drones in their work. And two years ago, they announced that they are extending their research partnership to further integrate technology into rescue operations. Saved by a Drone, a short documentary on the groundbreaking Icelandic mission, proves that drones indeed can save lives. Let's hear a short clip from that documentary from Alfonso Zamaro, who is the Drones Activity Manager at ENA. Drone technology is evolving so fast that actually it is becoming a tool for a daily use of uh, any kind of emergency service. And the fact that we can start adding more and more sensors to it, like thermal cameras, uh, it's a great advantage. What's very interesting as well is on how this technology allow uh, first responders to access to places where before it was really very risky for them to enter. And you can send a drone instead of a person to check what's going on. Drones are uh, bringing a new dimension to uh, answering uh, emergencies, and it's only a matter of a very short time that it becomes mainstream among first responders, and it's actually going to be a very essential piece of equipment to help them save lives. If you want to read more or watch the full video of the short documentary, then follow the links in the description of the podcast below. But that about does it for this week of Drone Positive, an inspiring story that shows how drones, if used properly, can literally save lives. Please get in touch with us on social media. We are at Altius Images on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find us easily enough on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. All of the links for our channels are down below, so please do reach out. We'd love to hear from you. If you haven't listened to our Droning On series, in which we interview other people in the drone industry, go back in our feed and look for those episodes as they're well worth a listen. Thank you for listening, guys. Please subscribe to and share the podcast so that we can spread our positivity far and wide. We will see you next Monday for episode 11 of the Drone Positive Podcast. But for now, fly safe, folks. Bye-bye.